Let's do something kind of positive for once, since some of you guys think that I just hate everything, which isn't true, that's a different person. I just hate most things. But let's go over some art stuff that I don't hate. Stuff that I find especially appealing. Fan art that changes something. Sure, perfectly copying the designs of characters and stuff you like is cool, but what really captures my attention is when someone makes fan art that changes or adds something that would otherwise not be seen in the original source material. Thankfully, this is something that a lot of people do, like drawing characters in your own style, or putting them in a situation that is different from what they would most likely experience in their fictional world. Sure, this is common practice in fandoms, but let's face it, ships, ships and other fandom creations are pretty dumb for the most part. I mean, every Ask This Character post can be summarized like this. Do you like to have the sex with this other character? Oh, uh, well, no? But I can't deny that they can be very entertaining. They can even be appealing if executed well. Most of the time, I will prefer fan art that changes something over fan art that is just a copy of the source material. It's kind of like expanding the world without consuming actual canon material. Making things look like movie TV screenshots. Concept art is one of the most fascinating and enjoyable things to analyze. It's a point where art starts to represent something that is part of a planned out, bigger world. But most of them are just sketches. When artists fake TV or movie screenshots with full compositions and those cinematic black lines, sometimes even making subtitles, it makes that art seem part of something larger. It tests out ideas. How would this character actually look? How would this world look? Intentionally or not, when a finished work looks like it's part of a larger project, I find it much more interesting to look at. I'm not trying to devalue work that isn't complete, that's necessary to quickly test ideas, but this way of demonstrating concepts is just so much fun. It's very satisfying to see ideas come to fruition even if it's faked. Keeping your old art. A lot of people can feel embarrassed about their old artwork after their skills have improved, which I'm probably not helping with. But contrary to popular belief, I don't hate beginner artwork as a whole. Everyone's going to make bad art when they're beginning, of course, and some people just want to get rid of it when they improve. But I would advise against this. The first reason is that comparing old artwork to new can give you a boost in confidence. Improvement isn't a gentle slope, and sometimes it can seem like you're not improving at all, but a lot of times one quick glance at your old art can show how far you've come. And oh boy, some people have come really far. Draw This Again challenges are a testament to this. Comparison of your work can also give you insights into why something works or doesn't work. The second reason is that old artwork can be pretty hilarious. Keeping your old art can give you tons of entertainment. Cleanliness. Intentional messiness, if done well, can create some stunning art. Sketches and overall messy art have their place, but there is something about a clean, polished piece of work that I find especially appealing. Clean line work and solid coloring in cartoony and simplified art works well in particular. Also, is this Sonic the Wedgehog? Now, you don't want to focus so much on cleanliness that your art appears flat and lacking volume. But when people take the time to carefully get that line work done for the final drawing and make sure there's no stray marks, it can really pay off. Restrained line work. I always talk about line work, but sometimes it isn't necessary for every single element of your art especially in the interior area. Confident line work is not inferior to anything else, but I really enjoy when people can separate shapes through simple changes in color and shadow. This stylistic choice can be difficult to achieve, but there's this clean, minimalistic feel to it that I enjoy. Honestly, I feel like it's a bit underrated and should be used more. It's like drawing something in the same style as a logo. Anyway, that was some art things I like. My name is Solar Sands, and goodbye.